it's not quite as heavy as it was maybe before we got this draft started, but it does still heavily favor the side of GXR going into this game one. 17 to 3 in CS, compared to Terrorblade at 26 to 5, the TB tends to farm a lot more efficiently towards that mid game as well, just because of how his illusions work with Conjure Image. You're gonna have to watch yourself, 4 and 6 can't afford to lose this much out in lane. Yeah, I mean, this is an in your dream terror blade, don't forget as well. Like, this is one of the man's specialties. In fact, bot lane, as we say that, Mizu does end up going down. Still very good news for 496 to secure that, that first blood on their morph. Yeah, and that's, that's the one thing 496 needs to do every single time. When they see the Nyx go out of lane, they need to bully out Mizu as much as possible. They do manage to land the combination here in Port Gas, but he's morphing just fine here. Yeah, there's nothing to really slow him down. They are at least going to force him away from the lane, but he does have that moment. Oh, wait a minute. There's the cold embrace coming out. They got the stun. He is quite low in strength now. In fact, he has none left to throw out. So they're going to go all the way past the T1 tower. And it looks like they've got him. Well, there you go, John. Sometimes it's just about continuing the chase and, and not giving up. His Morbid Mass was coming in, as you were saying, just not in time. And that is still a good time for GXR. Like, even with that first blood given away, Compare that to how the top lane is for GXR. It's just so much freer for IYD oh, and oil. red. Yeah, top lane, red. Stuck around too long. Got a bit greedy for that large camp. And of course, Alacrity will just punish immediately with the puck. Compare that to what 496 is trying to do right now. Like, Hung can't really rotate all too well. He doesn't have the javelin up. He's just trying to clear out camp, so... They're going to try and go into In Your Dream. Ohio and that baby are around as well as their Wind Ranger who's coming in, but they're going to lose their Winter Wyvern. A nice call in from Red, however. They'll lock down In Your Dream and now the Bushwhack into the power shot. Very nicely played by the side of 496. Uh, unfortunate there for GXR. Very fortunate for 496. GXR though, still playing much more aggressively, still taking over that bot jungle here. Oh, Hung, he's been caught out. A nice Fiend's Grip, but do you have the follow-up damage? The Orb, it's gonna fly in. Alacrity, he should have enough with the Dream Coil and the Waning Rift, and they'll get it. Paulson, he'll take the kill with the Fiend's Grip, but it's well worth the time invested here for GXR. 496, they're just so limited in map space. They're forced to respond to this. They've got three, man, three people here. They've got the Curse. That BB could line up for a very sick setup for the call here if you can. I really like the fact that In Your Dream continues to join for these tier one pushes as the call blink was not there, Red. He got it cancelled by the Venomancer and now the Cold Embrace does fly out In Your Dream. He's gonna kill off Joe Cam, but they may get hung in response as Hung. He's gonna try and run with the wind run. And nice shackles as well, but In Your Dream's not done yet. Hung will turn around for one last power shot, but he is gonna die. Top lane red could be in, in a lot of danger. Alacrity's got the day gone up with a haste and the coil, and they're gonna go right in. Spike Carapace is set up there by Joe Cam. He's got some help around to try and save him, but no. Not with the day gone up on Alacrity. There is no time to help out red. And you know in your dream, on this Terror Blade, he is gonna outfarm pretty much any other player if he's been given this much space. Radiance top oh yeah. Tower. And I love that GXR immediately smoke as well. They're hunting. Oh, Ace, no. He waveforms away at the right time, but Paulison, he has the Fiend's Grip. He's going to go after Porkas, and he's found it. He does have the Strength Morph going, but he has lost all his strength now and could still be in danger. Bushwhack is there. Cold Embrace the boot. Don't get Paulison down with the Power Shot. Can they keep going? Sharpshooter does connect with the call out Red. He'll give the kill over to Ace. So it does all turn around as now Joe Cam. He'll be chased down by Hung Hung. They'll try and find him. Ooh. However, oh, Joe Cam, that's Ooh. a little bit sneaky. The arrows do fly in the shackles. It does land. Never seen they got vision just for a split second. It's not like Morph's a flash farmer either. It's quite a slow process for him. Oh yeah, it's just worrying how much IYD is allowed to go. Like every single time Portcast is forced to actually join these engagements away from objectives and all. A cheeky little nightmare there by Polis, and they're just trying to get some D-Wards out, but Hung gets a shackle. Oh, that's a very nice shackle. Yeah. It lands on both of them. Mizu, he'll go for the Poison Nova. He's done his job already as Joe Cam. He'll sneak in from the backside, but he's not getting any kills going, as they will just continue, though, Hung. He does drop to the Dagon of Alacrity. And so in the end, it is still a very nice trade for the side of GXR. They did just pop the Dream Coil, so they're not going to have that control, but it looks like they're just feeling confident, knowing that the E-Blade's up. They know what they've got to watch for, and they can maybe prioritize someone else and jump here. Well, they see red. 
Red is going to get Fiends gripped. There is going to be a bushwhack to help him out, but they've already got the silencer as well, and they've got the damage. Ooh. Nice Winter's Curse, though. They'll at least get Joe Kim, and now a double Shackles out. But have they got the puck? Yeah, they do. Alacrity. He does go down as Mizu. He does have an A on disc, but it's not going to help so much as Polison. He tries to run, but here comes in your Ooh. dream. He wants to go for the fight. He's found that baby, and now poor Gas D Ace is just gone. Hung needs to run. He's going to try. So the Shackles does land. That's the one big problem, though. In fact, they even found Ohio. Oh. Mizu got him. <laughs> And kind of winning them out without In Your Dream's already impressive enough. Once In Your Dream comes in, even if he's down two teammates, it doesn't matter. He's just so strong. He's got that Scotty up. He's got the Dragon Lass and SNY. He's got a ton of HP and you can't stop this guy right now. No, you certainly can't. Maybe you could stop Polison though, who does get caught out with the Sharpshooter and the Call. They will be able to at least pick up a pause 5 kill as Alacrity. Oh, Alacrity, no, you didn't. He got Ace along with Misu. Hung's gonna try and punish him for that, but they've already lost the Morphling. And it's gonna be uh, very easy pickings. However, 496, they're gonna try and rush the Roshan. Scan is out. Can they make it in time to contest? They'll bring in one. Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be in your dream. He's running right into this. There's your reflection out, but the Ages is already taken. They'll still go for the fight though, Red. He's already been lost as poor Gasty Ace has lost half his HP. He's gonna try and run to strength morph up and try to find a way out of this team fight. But in your dream, no, he'll go after the T1 top tower as Joe Cam. He'll continue the chase. Ace has got to be careful. Reflection is still up again. Alacrity gets the silence off, but he doesn't have the backup. Coil's there. Shotgun will save for a second as oh, Polis, and he got the nightmare, and they've got the Fiend's grip. And with the Spirit Vessel on IF Scardy, the strength morphing just won't matter. He could wave for him out, but Joe Cam's waiting on the other side, and no, they've got the silence. It's just so one-sided of a matchup right now between these two teams. Is that BB? He tries. Hey, Aeon Disc just... is going to save with a Nightmare as well. They're just going to save the day. Maybe 496 can start to just focus on the high ground defense. Hope for a big Winter's Curse to come true from their Winter Wyvern and play around with that. Get the call off, get the follow-up Bushwhack. You can really play in that way. And in that sense, the team fight's good, although... Long. He's gonna try and go in. They've got the sharpshooter, so Mizu should die here. But now Joe Cam, he gets in with the Yule Scepter. There won't be a follow-up. Meanwhile, Bushwhack does catch out another. They've got Polison. He'll try to run, but it's looking no good for him as Red does catch him out. But now the Impel is there. Alacrity, he's gonna re-engage in this team fight. There you go, that he found Hung. He got the backline Wind Ranger. And he just blinks out with the Dream Coil now. And you found Pulse 3 in the Pulse 5, but you lost your Pulse 2 again. They seem to have an idea to Alacrity. It's just constantly scouting these trees. What do you worry? Doesn't spot them, but... Porkass. Oh, Porkass. The Fiend's grip again. Miz is going to oh. be there with the vessel. The Shackles may save his life. Porkass. He's going to be able to wait for him out. Just barely, thanks to the Shackles, is hung. Does finish off the kill onto the pain. Like, uh, it gets very scary when that Fiend's grip flies out. It's just so hard to survive and... It also goes back to that Enfeeble as well. Like, it's a level 2 Enfeeble, but it still removes a lot of regen as, my goodness, Red. Alacrity just solos him. It's a level 4 Dagon he's got up. I think he went in lane. He started out with a very early Ring of Health and Ring of Regen. And then he rushes the Blade Mail first. Like, you're going in for the call utility, the call damage coming true, but he has no durability at all, though. Alacrity. They've got a nice target, Alacrity. He's been caught out. Finally, they get a big one, but Joe Cam is going to sneak up from the backside. They know he's there, though. The Sentry is going to scout him out, and they even connect the dust. Is that BB? He might just curse him to set up. They need anything they can get right now, but no, they'll use the shackles. They'll be patient. And Hung will get a double. That's what you love to see from 496. We need to see more of that this game. Everything you could ask for on that POS 1 TV. Um, GXR in that fight, they were splitting focus. They were trying to chase that BB on that high ground a while ago, so they couldn't really hammer in either one. Follow they could chase down Bot, though. 
And Shackle's not gonna latch. Fiend Group's gonna be committed. He just wants to try and go for this kill as Joe Cam does show up, waiting out the BKB, which is about to wear off, but not quite yet. It's a nine second duration. The power shot is off the mark for Polison. He is still alive Ooh. somehow. Hung just can't finish the damn Bane. Ohio is gonna show up as they found Alacrity. A massive target, but in your dream, he's around the area with a nice thunder round. However, they lose Polison with the Winter's Curse. Do they wanna keep up this fight? Alacrity with the coil out. They'll go after the Wyvern. Red, meanwhile, will try to run. That BB still alive with the Cold Embrace, but probably not for long as he does drop. And now Red, he's stuck in the tree line. He'll try to make a way out, but it looks like there is no way out. He's out of mana. He's just gonna have to accept the fact that he's dead. And no meta's even been popped. Now it's up to GXR to be patient. Paulson needs to be able to pop that Fiend's Grip on the right target and not get cancelled to hold back his BKBs. That's kind of where I was going as well, John. I, I thought maybe he would have opted for the Lincolns or, or just get a Lotus on another teammate, but never mind that, because the Spy Carapace is there. Red, he couldn't get a great call off. Joe Cam, Aeon Disc going to be propped. Arrow in the backside, Alacrity trying to blow up Ohio on that Hoodwink, but he can't quite finish the job yet. A nice Shackles there, Hung. He locks down Alacrity, and now the Winter's Curse is there. Aeon Disc, it may save Mizu's life. Power Shot is not going to do anything. They found a massive puck kill. For the sake of Ohio's life. This is pretty good time for 496 to take that fight as well. Roche respawn in about 9, 10 seconds. If they did figure that out and go oh, Roche no. on now without the pocket, could oh, be no. off for JXR. Oh, Impel does land. Polis and he's going to get the Fiend's grip. Hung's got no help around him. And there's another DD rune as the Roshan <laughs> respawns. They just need to be ready for that engagement as GXR are just likely to get this, get the free Ag Shard, get the cheese, and look for that high ground again. It's going down very fast and that BB, uh, he's been caught out. This is the, the one hero you don't really want to see dying before the Roshan goes down, but he is well and truly dead. And now that contest of the Roshan pit just looks that much more challenging. That's going to be a full Shard's cheese in Aegis though. Meanwhile, on the bot side of the map, well, they at least get their, uh, their outpost back. Should be interesting to see him get that added move speed and added attacks. We're going to help him the siege here. And that gives him more damage as well in melee form. So you have to be a bit cautious, Joe Cam. Oh no, not poor Cass. Not Ace. Not again. Joe Cam, he's looking for that impel. Red's going to be around to help Ooh, out. Double. But a double impel does land as well. Reflection there. Oh, the big heavy will do nothing. And that's what I was talking about earlier, John. It's either Lincoln's or your teammates get a Lotus, but BKB, it doesn't feel good. He's got the Aegis up, he's got the Satanic, he's feeling very confident. He's not even gonna need to pop the Demon Zeal, John. With the 21k net worth lead, I'd say they should be feeling very confident. There you go, he pops the meta now. Double Siege Creep Wave as well. It's going to be a very easy push unless we get a call in the backside. It's just not going to matter though, because Hung's gone. Tips out from in your dream. Is there onto the mid tier three tower? <laughs> Buyback committed by the Wind Ranger, but what can Hung do here? It, it seems to be very dependent on landing a big call or shackles. And even then, I, I highly doubt they, they even have the damage output as red. Has been vesseled up. Joe Camp's just going to rush straight in. Goes for the Vendetta Strike, gets the Impale off, and they just blow him up. They got there. In your dream, he hasn't moved. He's just hitting the mid-racks. Lacrity forcing the, uh, the Ghost Scepter out from our Morphling. Meanwhile, in your dream, he just keeps up onto that tier three top tower. They just want the Megas. That BB in position gets a decent enough curse off, but the Nightmare's there from Polison. It's gonna mean they get nothing. I think it might be about that time to call it. They might go for one more team fight, but it's not looking great as the Shackles is there from Hung. It's a big, big Shackles. They might find Joe Cam, but no, in your dream, he saves the T again, and now the Fiend Grip is out. They found Hung on the Wind Ranger. He can't go anywhere. He'll get caught and braced up, but it won't matter because the Terror Blade, he just gets the work. Ace is in, but the GG's been called. They've had enough. A one-sided matchup for game number one between GXR and 496. And I've got to say, John, it wasn't even close. No, it was a tough time for 496. They started with the axe opener with a winter wyvern. They flex the axe onto the off. I like the win condition of GXR a little bit more. I think the Luna is a much more stable wave sieging high ground compared to the Slark. The Slark's going to have to rely on. They almost find an attempt there onto Joe Cam, but they weren't in range for the gush there for red. And now GXR, they might be able to force a team fight themselves. 
Red, he's going to show himself. It's not quite the target they want to get started on. They'd love a much squishier target. They are going to find one. So instead, they'll go onto the tide. However, here comes a swarm. A 5v5 in the Radiant Triangle. But Paulson's the one falling, or is it Red? It looks like it is going to be Red and in your dream. He's the one to get the first blood. He may die in the process, or maybe not as Ohio oh. is going to give what? him a double kill now on the Lunar. An absolute disaster for the side of 496. Porkass. If they keep going, Porkas, no. It'll be a Oh my God. in your dream Be enough get out of there you've already given him one just get out a slark looks for a defusal maybe echo saber down the line to really be active and once that's up you can run you can be aggressive but if you are playing that way you have to oh, get red, kills no. No more, not a dominating spree, Red. He's gonna at least get Paulison in your oh. dream. He's gonna find a fourth. <laughs> Three and a half minutes in. He's got over a kill per minute at the moment, this Luna. But committing onto a Necrophos for giving your Slark space, I don't, again, I don't think you're trading well here. I, I think the Luna's just getting so much more from this lane and they're also going for a Trilane bot now, Alacrity. Now that they are, Red, he's gonna try and run. Alacrity's got the X back into the turret. See you later. One more. They'll even give Alacrity a nice little tip. Uh, I thought they'd give it to In Your Dream just to build up that kill streak, but apparently they don't want to go all in. I don't really know if he has a great lane to go. Maybe top is probably your best bet again, but I, I just don't know how well worth it is to shut down a Necrophoist like this. Like, this is so much space GXR gets. They're not even committing Jokan there anymore. He's just focusing on stacks. He's going to try and get some damage. Meanwhile, Red is going to die again. And, and this is one of the things with the conquer pickup, right? Like, once you hit that six mark, you want to get active. It's not a hero that wants to farm up the whole game anymore. It, it wants to play very, very active and aggressive. Alacrity, he knows how to play these heroes in that way. Top lane, looks like they are going to go for a dive. Mizu's in danger. He does have the ghost form up, but he needs some help to come in. They'll get the pounce off Hung. He's going to join. In fact, Ohio is even here. They'll commit four heroes to be able to kill Mizu. But they will eventually get him. And Ace is the one to take the kill. Like, Hung's level 8, which is amazing and all, but you're still going to run into a Kunkka with, with Bowed up. He's just farming ancient stacks right now. Looks like they want Mizu, so they're gonna try, but he has that ghost form again. The roll is there. Silence as well, but here come the TPs trying to help out Mizu. Remnants used up. How much is this gonna cost them? Hung, he used all his mobility. Oh no. He's gonna die for it. It's not worth it. 496, they're not feeling confident to go in. Perhaps assuming that his whole team's behind him and. Well, they're not entirely wrong. Half his team is there. Hung now going to TP up. Chains out. Does catch on two. Ace is around. There's your Eclipse flying out. So Ohio is going to get caught. But they found a trade with Joe Cam. And now Ace might be able to go for another. But the Ooh. Reaper Scythe comes in. It's not going to be enough, though. Big Ravage out. In fact, never mind. It only connected on one. And they're looking to turn now as Alacrity. He has a double damage rune active. And they might just be able to take down the pos 3 of 496. And it looks like it's going to be no issue. They do get a nice miss kill, miss coil though. And that'll be enough. The Duke's out. They can easily just swing down here. Mizu is just keeping that creep wave alive. And there has to be a response for this. But they have no Ravage. They do have mobility on the Ember. But Hung has to refill first. That DB. He's going to be there to try and help out. He does not have the borrowed time, and instead they're going to go after Red anyway. They want the Tide Hunter. He's a tanky boy, though, so instead they'll turn back on that BB. They realize he has no ulti, and now they have the Cyclone up onto Red as the boat flies in. Perfect timing, and it looks like they found another. And there was no rabbit. Oh, no, Hung. No, no, no. He gets boy. remnanted out, but it may not matter. He gets lifted as well, but he does get the remnant. Paulson, he's just so confident to run into the die triangle. He's got the split. <laughs> uh, that's it. He just splits. Screw it. Ah. Uh, he'll turn onto Hung. Hung's got to be very careful as he does remnant away, but I can't say the same for that BB. Borrowed time's going to be there. Meanwhile, to the south, Alacrity is holding everyone else back as that BB is still just trying to survive, but he's not getting out. Ohio, he lands a nice magnetize, but doesn't amount to anything. A massive ravage, though. Four heroes stunned up. They do get Paulson, but Ohio's down now into Joe Camp, who's got the borrowed time. They can't even get the Rubik. Still a 2 for 1 trade thus far. A buyback on that BB. They're going to go after Mizu. He does have the Reaper Scythe up, but may just commit it. 
In fact, he doesn't need to. It's going to be a dieback on that BB. Joe Cam, he's going to split out red for a second, but won't even bother. Yeah, and there's no Ravage now. That was a good Ravage from red, but the damage issue men you mentioned comes into play there. And they most of their damage is on Hong, and he has to be really cautious with where he TPs in. For red. red, red, red. Not like that, sir. Lift up. Reapers is going to be there, and they're going to have the damage. There's a tip in your dream. He knows it. He, he's wondering what the hell he was doing. So you're just falling behind on every metric for the Slark. Maybe if they isolate one, again, just keep killing Paulson or Jokam or something. Maybe they can get Paulson now. He hasn't got split up for another seven seconds, but TP, no, roll is there. Ohio, he cancels it off and they've got the pounce. One more second if he wanted to split, but he won't have the time. Meanwhile, mid lane, Mizu, still very confidently pushing in this mid wave. So Lacrity now is going to get an X off. They won't be able to land the torrent though. A nice dodge from Hung, and they might be able to go right back around onto that Necrophos now. That BB looking for the curse, but there's the ghost form. And Ooh. now the force stuff away from the rollers in your dream is gonna show up with the Exeon on Ohio. But they'll commit all the way. Ravage up in five seconds. Red, he needs to buy a bit more time to get that Ravage off. In your dream, he's popped his own BKB. He needs to back though, or maybe he won't. He'll just keep going. Mizu moving forward, but doesn't have the Reaper sight. And now they'll have the Ravage if they wanna commit. They just me as Ohio, a big magnetize. Ooh. Now the three man ravage. They can turn this one. Joe Cam and Mizu already down. Aren't in your dream. He's got no BKB up. They should be able to take him down. They do. But can they get out of here now? Alacrity looking to clean up. Does kill off Hung. Mizu, he bought back and he does almost have the Reaper Scythe up. But he's not quite close enough as now Alacrity. He's been jumped. They don't want to feed a die back like this. Reaper Scythe is out. But poor Cast Ace, he can just keep Ooh. getting to work. A what? big torrent. Is is it going to be enough? Miz is just going to clean up. Ohio, he's had his roll blocked. He'll just keep up the chase, and he might just get this kill as the death pulse. It'll just keep chasing him down, and he gets a triple. Mizu gets him eventually. I'd say 496, they might still be happy with that team fight, John. They got a lot of kills. In your dream just goes in solo. There is a ward by the cliff. Watch that area, but they're not quite walking in there yet. So 496 has to have a game sense to check, and that BB's here. That he is, he's gonna spot it out. They have not noticed that the Abaddon was there for a second as there's no sentry on the ground and now here comes the help. Ace, he's right in with the pounce. BKB popped Ace, he needs the Shadow Dance. He'll get it off just in the nick of time, but that's his defensive ability gone. Now that BB's Ravage. gone, they're all jumping in. Ravage is there from red, he's trying to save the day, but they'll just turn right back around on that Tidehunter and go after him. The big green watermelon is not gonna be together for so long as they just burst Ooh. it. And now the stolen Ravage Joe Cam, he's unable to catch anyone. I believe he wanted Hung. I mean, it, it kind of looked like it was going to work, John, but then Ace just pounces into the pit. Yeah. But I'd say you've still got to be pretty happy with the fact that you got the tier 3 and the range racks. And now he's got the full butterfly up, so in your dream, he wants to fight. That BB? He's got the Glimmer Cape, but it's only going to be for so long. He tries to run with the aphotic shield, borrow time out, but they X him up. And he will come right back to the side of GXRs in your dream. We'll give the voice lines over. <laughs> and guess what? They've got creeps now. Buyback is there, that BB. He's going to try and fight with his team, but it's already looking so tough. Red, he needs a massive Ravage, and he gets in. Ace is there. They committed the Ravage jump from this Rubik, I believe. You've still got the Ravage from Red. He has not committed it quite yet, as in your dream. He's still going for the fight onto Ace. And this is a very patient game from Red, but now he's been cycloned up. He can't get the Ravage. Lucid Beam there. He's going to have to try and run now, but it's just... They, they can't find the opening. Uh, this, this is going to be tough. At least they hold a Ravage for now, but the Aegis is still up and running for a minute and a half. BKB is still up as well for IYD. You have limited oh, angles. Oh, what a quick lift up as well, Red. Again, unable to get the Ravage off as the lift was there immediately. And now Ace, he goes to work with the Shadow Dance, but that's about a wear off. And it looks like this fight may have already kind of been lost here for 496. They're just struggling to get any form of oh. damage. Big control there from Red, though. That might turn it around as in your dream. is dropping low and will lose the Aegis, but he does have his BKB charge. They'll try and go after Mizu. He gets the Ghost Form just 
in time. Still trying to heal up. Now the Eclipse is there in your dream. He'll try to fight by himself. He's kind of surrounded though. Here comes Alacrity to try and help out as they've already found two. Buyback there from Mizu. He wants to rejoin the team fight. Alacrity now going for the X-Pack. Onto Hung in fact. Never mind. They'll go after Red instead. They want that tied down. Glimmer Cape not going to save the day. That BB trying to run. Can he though? Probably not. In fact, they'll just get in with Mizu. Three down with our buyback. That is going to be at least two lanes of racks. They might even just pressure the tier four since yeah. Luna. It doesn't take too long. The 496, even with the tide buyback available, there's no Ravage. It's not going to be enough to stop him. They need to find some way with Hung here. Oh, I, I don't know how you do it, John. And the, the Ancient is going to go down a bit too fast, I think, Red. He's going to try and make his way over Hung. He'll remnant his way through in your dream. He can still take the Ancient while hitting heroes. The Glaze is just that strong. Red, oh, Reaper God. Scythe. Oh, they found Hung. Now, Red, he's just a sitting duck. He's trying, but he cannot get out. And the GG will be caught. 496. Get 2 owed here by GXR, who... I mean, I've got to tell you, John, they're looking very strong right now. I know we're only into our first series of the close qualifiers, but they made both these games look extremely easy.